Now let's get to tracking our forecast. Keith and I were joking at noon today that it almost start is starting to feel normal. That it's been yeah, such a long stretch right of now. hot and humid right. that here we are. It's just what we're doing. And by the end of the week, we might start feeling cold. Okay. Because we'll have a little change bit of a change. Coming. That change will be low 90s to low 80s. So if okay. you're not a fan of the heat, we do get some relief from it. But more importantly, at least in my opinion, the humidity is finally going to go away the mm. by the end of the week. So here's a look at our high temperatures today. Very similar to what we saw this weekend and last week. A lot of temperatures in the upper 80s, lower 90s out there, and still well above average for this time of year, and it has been for a while. Same with those dew point temperatures. Once again, in the upper 60s, lower 70s. Portland 72 now, but it was 73 about an hour ago. So still very sticky and very humid air hanging around for the next few days, but there is some relief on the way. So we do have a heat advisory in effect for all of the areas here shaded in orange, and that's in effect until 8 p.m. tonight, but we'll see another heat advisory tomorrow, also from noon to 8 p.m., because we're still expecting the hot and humid conditions to linger through tomorrow. So in terms of our visible satellite imagery, overall, despite the heat and humidity, we didn't have a lot of cloud cover out there today. Usually when there's a lot of moisture in the air, you would see a lot of cumulus clouds pop up in the afternoon. But overall, we haven't seen that much convection, which is also why we haven't had many rain showers or thunderstorms this evening. So there is a slight chance of a few more storms able to move in later this evening. I don't think we're going to see very many of those based on what we've been experiencing this afternoon. And then later tonight, we start to kind of build in a little bit more cloud cover. I think tomorrow morning we could struggle a little bit with the fog situation, especially closer to the coastline because of a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. A few showers up in the county early on Tuesday morning. And then once we get into the afternoon, we'll start to get that heat and humidity once again. That heat advisory will come back into play. And we could see some scattered showers and thunderstorms late on Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening. This model here has this line of storms coming through at about 10 p.m. So it's a little bit later in the afternoon there, but we'll see some of that storm activity. And then Wednesday into Thursday is when things are going to start changing. So we'll start out with plenty of sunshine early on Wednesday, and then we're looking at more storm activity coming through in the afternoon associated with a cold front that's going to bring a pretty stark change to our weather, mostly in terms of the heat and humidity. And then that will linger a little bit into Thursday morning with a couple of showers, especially along the coastline there. So we're going to finally see a dip in that humidity here. Once that cold front goes through late Wednesday into early Thursday, we go from humid and muggy conditions back into much more comfortable ones. And then that hot and humid stretch will finally come to an end as well. So 90s once again possible Tuesday and Wednesday. And then that front comes through and temperature is still a little bit above average, but much more comfortable in the low to mid 80s. Marine forecast sees two to four feet, water 66 degrees there. So in terms of our seven day forecast here, you can see kind of a big difference between the next two days, which are very similar to a lot of the weather that we've seen, hot, humid with that chance of afternoon thunderstorms. And then once that cold front goes through, things get significantly more comfortable, Brian and Amanda. But right now we aren't looking at too much shower activity associated with that front, but it'll be a big difference between with the temperatures and the humidity. I feel like Friday can almost feel a little bit fall like. Oh, yeah, you'll feel that difference for sure, <laughs> especially now yeah. that we're all used, used to the to heat this. and right. humidity. Yes. It'll be different. a big change. All right, Dana, thanks so much.